This video shows how you can connect two switches into one switch socket. Uh, here I'm using two switches. Uh, the white one's a momentary accessibility switch, just an ordinary thing. And the green lead goes to a shout box, which is a sound controlled switch. I'm going to plug that into socket 10 of the game control mixer. And hopefully if I hold this momentary switch and move the joystick, I'll be able to change joystick modes. For as long as I hold that, that is shifting. And uh, if I go into a menu mode, if I double tap this shift switch, this momentary standard ordinary shift switch, it should be the equivalent of pressing circle. So it should just go back. There we go. Now on the other side, I've got a shout box and there's the output that goes into the game control mixer. The input can either be via uh, the inbuilt microphone if there's no microphone attached or here we've got an external microphone attached to PC1 which comes with the shout box. So we'll turn this on. The red light indicates that there's power. The middle yellow light indicates that there is sound that it's detecting right now above a threshold. And the green light says that the output is active. Now, if we set this to toggle the middle mold mode, is there in the central setting. This will just operate shift for as long as the green lights on. So let's adjust that a little bit. Anti-clockwise makes it more sensitive. Clockwise makes it less sensitive. So all being well. Just dial down the sensitivity so it doesn't pick up my voice. Uh, now this is holding down the shift button, so that'd be exactly the same as holding that down. Hopefully now I can change the joystick mode. And now I should be in left stick mode. And I'll just show this swapping modes quickly in the game. So this is left stick mode. So I make a sound into the microphone. Oh, turn the sensitivity up a bit. And you can make this extremely sensitive. So I'm just going to make this so I'm blowing into it. So hopefully you won't be able to hear anything. And, and I'll be turning that green light on and off. And that is with the lightest puff of air. So you just need to adjust it to suit you without ambient noise around you interfering too much or if at all. A uh, little bit of a trick getting that balance right, but basically toggle on, get the balance right, microphone plugged in and positioned close to your mouth and output into a splitter. And then you've got both latched shift and momentary shift. So that's for your taps with a game control mixer to get quick, uh, quick access to buttons such as B, L3, R3 or whatever's set up 
if it's a custom job. And that's about the size of it. Hopefully that's uh, fairly clear. And if not, if, if you're probably not a game control mixer user, it becomes much easier with use.